welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video, filming it, for me, has so many mixed emotions because the blurred person that you can see right now on the screen, it's gonna be revealed in about five seconds. How shall I say this? Like, the title and the thumbnail of this video is showing and saying that we are doing a film, a filming a video about a person that is leaving Malta and why people are leaving Malta. Unfortunately, the person that is going to be revealed in three, two, one, ta-da! It's Sari, <laughs> my best friend. Sari, that you have seen on my videos, the only person from my personal life that has been on YouTube is leaving Malta. <laughs> I would start, like, I already know what she's going to say because we've been so close as friends that I know why she came to Malta, I know how her life was here, and I know why she's leaving Malta. But I would, land, I would like this to be on YouTube as well as our small documentary, I would say, episode of us <laughs> having it for future in about 20 years from now when we'll be looking at it and we'll be like, oh my God, do you remember this? Do you remember that? Yes. Anyway, first things first, why did Sare choose Malta? Well, first of all, I've been in Malta twice before uh, moving here and I so loved it. In 2010, I was here the first time. 2010? Yes. Oh, wow. 2010 with my mom I didn't know the sister. year. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's about me. <laughs> <laughs> I love the weather, the sea, the people, the food, the hotel, the shopping, the <laughs> nightlife. So I've been here twice. And then now I finally moved here in uh, August, the beginning of August this year. We met when you arrived? Yes, we did. So one good thing about social media is you can meet amazing people like Alan. Oh, yeah, now it's about <laughs> me, the video. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so guys, I was just like you. I was watching Alex's videos and I was mesmerized by his energy and his positivity and his amazingness, his looks, his tan, his smile, his teeth, his everything. <laughs> Sari's channel now. <laughs> Sari's channel. The next thing that I would like people to know is how was your job aspect, like looking for a job, getting the job and all of this, so that you can move from abroad to Malta? Because obviously right. you were not here to look for a job on spot, you had to no. do it in a different way. So my background is actually in sports and um, I love customer service and I love dealing with people, you know, just like you, you're yeah. like such a people person and you need to feel the energy of people yeah so me choosing Malta was definitely for customer service job so I found this really cool company in the gaming industry and I wanted to give it a try I've yeah. never been in iGaming I had literally no clue what it was in a way I mean <laughs> okay I did know a little bit but not too much but I wanted to give it a go and see if I could I could actually pursue a real career in this in this industry. Considering that you didn't have experience in the yes. iGaming, you started as a fresher. I did. As a customer and service agent, my job was to deal with the Finnish speaking okay. clients. Yeah. Yeah. But of course, like, you know, it was half and half. We had like the Finnish speaking customers and then the English speaking customers. When, when it comes to the apartment, because this is like the second thing that you had to do when you moved yeah. to Malta, how did the apartment hunt went through? Like, what did you do exactly? Well, to be honest, I have to say like, the company that I started working for was so amazing and they provided two weeks of uh, Airbnb accommodation Good. for me, yes, which was amazing because like, obviously coming from a different country, you're not sure like where to stay, where to live in the beginning so that so helped me a lot you didn't know the areas where to leave exactly like i knew the location of the office for yeah. the for the job but i didn't know where should i just have the apartment and how long the distances really are or what the traffic would be like so yeah. i didn't want to risk it so it was really easy or it was very lovely of the company to provide yeah. you know the flights and the accommodation for me to start mm. off with which is good because it allowed you to be here on spot and look yes. for something directly on spot exactly because many people before they start moving to malta obviously they're looking into accommodation mm. online and everything and there are several websites the one that i have uh, bumped into i've seen maltafine.com oh over yeah. here uh, when you have when you're looking for an apartment, you go through, for example, localities and stuff like that. Yeah. And 
for you to look for something first for example you had the good thing because you knew where the um, office is yeah so for you would be easier to have the office local to know where the locality is to search for an apartment but it was different in your case because you were already here so yeah. you did manage to find something directly on spot yes and you found something very close to where you work i did it was only three blocks away from the office <laughs> building Good. so that means like literally in half an hour i'd be ready in the morning <laughs> just a quick shower get yourself ready oh and just God. run to the office and be there on time the two weeks that you had in the apartment from the job opportunity that you had it yeah. allowed you to look for anything on on spot it did it did and i actually went to five different apartments <laughs> like to see five different apartment showings which which showed you how was it the hunt for you like you had so much on hand to look yes. in yeah so what i would just give as a little tip if you're looking for an apartment here i have a very strong smell sense of smell so i can detect if there's a little bit of mold in a building <laughs> so please make sure that there's no mold in the buildings because that can alter your health and yeah yeah and i've noticed that in uh, many flats around the island especially going towards the north side of the island they have quite a lot of mold yeah in uh, the apartments i mean it, no quite a lot it's a harsh word they do have mold they i do. think the insulation or isolation however it's called um in the actual buildings over here it's not yeah. that good it no. makes plus we have a lot of humidity on the island That's which is thing. important to people to know so I believe that some of the flats, yes, they really need to be checked into. So you are 100% sure that you're going into something that you really like. Exactly. If I just give like a quick overview of what I think about the differences in Finland and Maltese buildings, um, maybe because in Finland it's super cold, as you know, it gets to yeah. like minus 20, minus 30 degrees Celsius in, in winter time that I feel like the, the houses are built a bit more sturdy, yeah. like, you know, better isolation. There's no draftiness really going on. And I know you have uh, heated floors as yes, well. Yes, we have heated floors. We have heated bathroom floors. Uh -huh. We also have saunas. <laughs> yeah. hey, did you notice here bathrooms. in Malta that we don't have electric, I mean, electric sockets in the bathroom? Yeah, I <laughs> actually did. Do you have them did. in Finland? Yes, we do. We do have those things. And also, um, what I find quite fascinating is the gas stoves because in Finland I haven't really seen people with gas stoves it's always the electrical stove here it's mainly gas I know yeah. and that's why I wanted that was one criteria I wanted in my apartment to be and then the reason why I actually left the apartment mm -hmm. there were a few reasons um, well due to these buildings here in Malta in general I feel like because they're most of them are very thinly built okay. like you can just hear every single yeah. <laughs> every single sound your neighbor makes so i was hearing screaming yelling fighting dogs barking <laughs> dishes flying i was hearing like fights. i remember the whatsapp audio in video notes and i was like oops yeah i know let's book a hotel and i'm sorry <laughs> to say i mean the apartment was like nice itself like there was nothing really wrong with the apartment except okay it was very cold in winter time sorry <laughs> very very interesting thing is that expats here in malta when we are talking about landlords 90 percent of people are saying that they're not getting their deposits back oh yeah <laughs> no my my landlord he did give me yeah. my deposit back so Which is good yeah <laughs> i was always worried i'm like oops people are saying this, no, and no, this no. is going on and yeah definitely thank god it turned out well with him which yes is good. exactly but i do feel like the neighbors and the noise is a bit crazy and even if i did have my earplugs i can still hear <laughs> you know <laughs> didn't I, help the good thing is that i believe he understood your point of view he understood that you were not so keen on staying there anymore yeah. because of all this issue that you just mentioned yes and obviously that he doesn't have any reason to invent something so that he will keep the deposit because you got your deposit back, which is good, thank God. Because considering how many stories I've been hearing and reading from people, even I was scared for you and I was like, even mentioning like, oops, I hope everything is gonna go well. Thank God it went well. Yeah. And now you ended up being in a hotel. Yes. <laughs> so, okay, we spoke about you moving into a hotel because you left your apartment. Yes. But you left your job as well. I what did. What was the reason? 
Right. So my personal reason was I felt like um, this job as a customer service agent was really amazing. It gave me like a new challenge. It's a new country, new people, new opportunities, new everything, obviously. And then back home in Finland, I've been working in Finnish language. Yeah. So just to come here and, and work in English language, you know, 50% of the time and then 50% of the time Finnish, it was very interesting. But I feel like I really picked it up very fast, like in yeah. a few months. And then after, I already knew, like, I really want to challenge myself more. I want to push myself further and get into like a higher position, possibly. As in Finland, I've been working on uh, in management level. Yeah. And so when you work in management level, like I'm used to kind of dealing with many different things, which kind of suited the role that I applied for. But to be honest with you, my boss did contact me from Finland, and yeah. she really needed my help. There was just a lack of instructors at this one gym, and and she offered me this this job yeah. opportunity back, and she really needed my help, so I just couldn't say no. <laughs> I wish you to be back very very soon, because I know that you like Malta. I love Malta, I love Malta. and I know that your story here was a little bit different Rocky. and interesting yes <laughs> but i know that your story with malta it's not over it is definitely not over and i feel like you know i was just going through like a bumpy little ride there yeah. but i just have to go back home regain my energy recharge and then come back with a bang <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes i never you know i always when i do video like interview videos although you're my best friend um mm, so are you i mine? have <laughs> i have a question that I think I'm gonna start asking two people. How would you rate Malta from one to ten on an overall level? I would give it a nine and a half. <laughs> I would give ten out of ten. <laughs> nine and a half just because I'm biased. I love my country. <laughs> oh well it's good. Nine out of nine point five out of yeah. ten it's perfect. I'll well, give Finland a ten and I'll give Malta a nine point five. You know, <laughs> I don't know if I shall end the video over here just with sign out or shall I end the video tomorrow when I drop you off at the airport? <laughs> that you would can, be fun! Yeah, 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 we can film it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, let's see how the airport thing is gonna turn out but for now we're gonna sign out over here. And thank you for, for having this little chat with me. Yeah, this is really you. interesting. Thank, thank you. you for being here. Always. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you so much. Even me. F***ing <laughs> hell. <laughs> And there she goes. If you made it until the end of the video, ta -da! this is your reward. Okay, that was her story of her life over here since August onwards. And I'm so thankful that YouTube somehow connected us. And that's why even I wanted to make this. Because this is our story as best friends, as brother and sister from another parent. <laughs> God knows. I'm so happy to have you, Sari, in my life, honestly. And I know that your story over here, it's not over. And I know that you're gonna be surprised seeing this because this is not what we thought for the video. But I just want to tell you that I honestly, genuinely love you. And I can't wait for you to be back. This one was for you.